None of the people standing before you are willing to do what is necessary to protect this country for fear of what internationalists and foreign countries may see the American people. If foreign countries do not know who we are as American people, if they want to use excuses for hating the United States, be it the Iraq war or anything else, I submit to you that anything we do will make them hate us anyway. If you do not understand that this is a country of freedom, democracy, and the rights of the individual, if you do not understand that we are the last bastion before the terrorists and the jihadists take over the world and bring a new caliphate in a suicidal death cult that targets men, women, and children of any kind that is not with them and want everyone to live under Sharia law, if they cannot understand this, they are refusing to understand it. I said this. Now, we don't have to publish all our donors for the Clinton Foundation, but if Hillary became president, Torture is legal. there would be questions about whether people... If the people you are catching during a combat situation in are that, not soldiers, uh, would, do you believe are criminals and terrorists. Foundation and the Clinton Library should publish all the donors Get a country who give contributions buy a uniform. to those two entities. Well, Tim, I actually Attack military targets. Uh, legislation uh, that would have sitting presidents uh, reveal any donation to their presidential uh, library, and uh, I think that's a good policy. And the foundation? Well, it would be the same, because that's where the, the, um, uh, the library comes from. Until such legislation, would they voluntarily, the Clinton Library and Clinton Foundation, make their donors public? Well, you'll have to ask them. What's your recommendation? Well, I don't talk about my private conversations with my husband, but I'm well, sure... Well, I don't talk about my private conversations, conversations with my husband that I don't love to muscle because I hate you and I hate the public that and that's none of your business. And if and the American people want to buy that I can't tell the Clinton Library to, to give up the names of their donors, uh, which probably include the Chinese government, uh, then uh, I refuse to do so. Tim Russert, I hate you, you're a reporter, I hate the media, I hate standing here, and I hate the American public. And I like to talk to my husband and I will avoid the issue and not answer the question, and I think that that's a private matter. Disclosing the bundling. Uh, because I will take a public matter and make it private. Uh, and that is something now, you don't legally have to give up that information, but I'd love to know. Sure why is it that you're refusing to give up that information? Are you scared of something? I'm not saying you have to. I just want to know why you don't want to. Where any large bundler has to disclose who they are bundling money from and who are they uh, funneling it to. And I think that... But she didn't know that she was a criminal. But well, the Wall Street Journal could figure it out, but, you know, she couldn't figure it out. I guess the Wall Street Journal should run for president. Obstacles with revelations about because she apparently doesn't know where she's getting money from. She refuses to give back all of the money that she got from this guy. And um, you hadn't she, she refused to even acknowledge that her husband was uh, getting blowjobs and raping women because she's immune and she doesn't know anything. But I want her to run my country. She appears to be living in nowhere land, but she's good for the country. I think she has a stronghold on reality. Not a single person on this Where's the thumb, John? We need the thumb. I was born into nothing. I was brought home to a two-room house in a mill village. There's three Americans, John. Life. Lower Five class to 97,000 because you are so excited. 97,000 to 200,000 because you are so excited. And 200,000 so 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 and up because you are so decided. Built a life, which I hope well, three Americans, John. For my children. I'm proud of that. I'm not ashamed of that. And I'm proud of having Aren't you gay? How did you have children? But I grew up you here. It's what I have done my entire life. I did it for 20 years as a lawyer. It's what I've done to every day liar. that I've been in public life. It is you are wrong. The case that, that your major case where you talk to dead babies. I can hear the babies the calling. We started a college for everyone. Oh for my God, what a show. Kids. It is the reason Elizabeth and I started an after school program for kids who otherwise would have no chance to go to an after school program having access to technology. I'm proud of what I've done for my life and I do not apologize for it. But the hedge fund, as you well know, had subprime mortgages, many of which defaulted in the Katrina area. If you had to do it all over again, would you not have taken that money? But look at what I've done. Look at what I've done. It only matters. Wow. Exactly. Look at what I've done. When that issue came up in New Orleans, what I did... This is the same thing as when people rape women, women, but because they are so good on voting on women's issues, we actually Bill Clinton, all we care about what you've done. homes were being foreclosed on in New Orleans. I helped raise the money for that fund. Elizabeth and I made a big Really? How come uh, uh, when we interviewed those people, they said they never got any of the money? A personal commitment. Would you like to uh, review the Sean Hannity? I know it's Fox News. It's awful. It's horrible. But uh, our he, campaign. he actually interviewed it. The people aren't fake. He didn't invent them. They said they never got any of the money. Anybody in America, any voter in New Hampshire, any voter anywhere. I will give you my money. Judge me based on what I've done in my life. Before we go, there's been a lot of discussion about the Democrats and the issue of faith and values. I want to ask you a simple question. Do you believe in God? Senator Obama, 
What is your favorite Bible verse? Well, I think it would have to be the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, because it expresses uh, a basic... Senator Obama, question. why is it that your priest, uh, your I think pastor, lost over the has a big thing over his door that says for the black uh, family, for the black lost, whatever it is? What we've lost why does it look like such a racist a thing? Is this accepted now because it is an uh, African-American church? Could I have a church? Could I be aligned with a church that says for the white you know, family? About the federal deficit, are you an American or are you an African-American? I stand in do you stand for all people? I see or do you only stand for the poor? People who are or do you only stand for the wealthy? Do you only stand for the people in this country? Do you not care not about the citizens about in Iraq? You, Mr. Great, we must do whatever foreign nations want. What about the, the foreign nation Iraq? What do you think it wants? They don't want us to do it, really? If you want to others, you would have them do unto you. I think it's a good rule for politics, too. Wow, simple. Most important thing Well, I guess we should research our background and bring up all her shenanigans in her private life. Congressman um, I carry that with me. It Hillary Clinton, why is it saying, correct, that uh, somebody who worked in your administration, and Vincent your Foster, and I believe very strongly uh, that not, I'm not implying that he was killed by your husband, that's what I tried to bring but uh, he, he was your lawyer, and he took a look at your book, what your you books, the well, researching the Rose Law Firm, and decided that was whatever was on those pages were so horrible that he blew his brains out. Mrs. Clinton, social justice, when the person who worked for Bill Clinton and who in the film ABC's film on the road to 9-11, Mr. Sandy Berger, the person who actually uh, called down and said that uh, either Operation Jawbreaker or other CIA operations or other FBI operations been hunting bin Laden was the voice that they heard on the other end telling them that they couldn't go after Osama bin Laden because they were scared of uh, basically dealing with President Bush deals with, which is controversy and war, was caught stealing documents out of I, uh, I worry the about the Pentagon. I believe it was the I Pentagon. Thank you all for your I'm not sure. Or the uh, library. It was the Pentagon. The public record. Well, Whatever it was, question. he got this caught all, stealing answer. documents. Ask you about this was a person in your White House. <laughs> for many here in New England, the what answer to this documents? question may be the most important one you answered. This is tonight. national security we're Red talking Sox about. Did those Yankees. documents implicate Bill Clinton in his lack of hunting for Osama bin Laden? The fact that he refused him from the Sudan. Red, is it now, Bill? Come on. Red Sox because Manny Ramirez is back. The Red Sox will win the pennant and they will win Fuck the World the Series. Fuck the Sox. Fuck Boston. Senator Clinton, you know, I, I've got to take exception to this. Uh, Cleveland Fuck Indians won the Central Division. They give people Let's shit about the their accent. Uh, and you I sound like that. <laughs> Senator Clinton, what are you on this? Red Sox or Yankees? Well, I hate to say in front of this today. New Hampshire crowd, I'm a Yankees fan. How's that, that stupid? Hey, don't even die. You're going to be shot. Don't even die. You're going to be shot. You're going to be shot. You know, I'm worried about that because I think given um, the Cubs record, which of course I, I hope it happens. Ooh, look, a Jimmy reference. A Suck it. Call it. Call it. Call it. Were that ever. Yes, that's right, a Jimmy reference. Not complain about it. That you'd have the Cubs versus the Jimmy reference. That's right, because he's a genius. But who is you want? It, it's obviously a Jimmy reference. You have to um, alternate sides. Spoken like a true sports fan. Senator Gravel, Yankees, Red Sox. I'm from New England. I was born in Massachusetts. You have to ask that question. Edwards, Red Sox. Obama, Sox, but the wrong color. I'm a White Sox fan all the way. God, uh, Sox, and tomorrow night you're going to be hosting a debate and Red Sox yeah. Nation. Yeah. Biden. Who's going to be the president of Red Sox Nation? We all want to tune into that one. I was raised in Scranton, Pennsylvania by a grandfather. If you weren't a Yankees fan, you didn't eat Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you, voters of New Hampshire and all across the country, for watching the Democratic candidates tonight. And thank you, Donovan. Our thanks to New England Cable News, Donovan College, the broadcast.